nothing. Even with the whole 50 Cent shit, like that whole shit with Cam and Mr. doing that shit, I was already in cahoots with 50 Cent trying to figure out how we could do some type of diplomat G Unit tour. That's why I was really trying to get together. Cam went crazy on the radio, like, what? Like, nigga, that nigga was. When, when Angie used to be in Hot 97, yeah, like, I remember. That point, I felt like, I was like, that was like, he was, he was talking about Alan Grumbler. So what? He'd be robbing the shit out of us, nigga. He still owe me millions of dollars. Like, why do you care what he say? Moses on the independent. Lloyd yeah. Banks is on your way. But Lloyd Banks has more money, money than Jim Jones. And when you want to talk on that level. See, he's giving, you get ready to turn it into something else. Check this out. It's all, it's all a come up. Let him say what he want to say. We getting a check. You just fucked up the whole lick. Because at that time, we was the two most powerful movements, but 50 Cent and them was on a whole nother level. These niggas is touring out the ass all around the world. Yeah, you get 150, 200, 300,000 a show. I like, we want some of that, nigga. We had diplomats. We doing something wrong. What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy, Hoods Billionaire. Welcome to Hoods Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about Jim Jones and Cameron having some more internal issues let's talk about it let's talk about it so looks like jimmy and cam then uh had some more internal conflict uh jimmy said he don't really talk to cam like that or deal with cam like that um now they their relationship has been uh uh turmoil some to say the least like They've had multiple falling outs, got back cool, fell out again, got back cool, fell out again. Um, it, but, you know, Jimmy's saying, nah, he really don't really contact them. He really don't, they don't really talk or rock like that. Um, and he pretty much was saying, like, all the situations in the past that ever came about, he's pretty much saying, like, Cam made those situations like that you feel what i'm saying when you know the situation 50 cent 50 cent was just speaking on the situation with Koch, with the guy who owned the label and he was saying 50 was speaking on how he was doing business over there at Koch, and jim was like i agree with him you know how the guy was doing business was wrong even though you know cam you know might have worked out an okay deal but he still was robbing everybody over there so jim i mean cam 50 didn't say nothing wrong to about dipset he was just speaking on the light bulb that we they were under at the time you know what i'm saying so he was like he was trying to get money with g unit because they was getting a lot of money and he felt like dipset was the bigger or just as big of a entity and he wanted to get money with 50 cent so you know he kind of spoke you know he's spoken on those type of situations before and not just saying that they don't really see eye to eye and i think this is one of them situations where man if you and somebody that that's a friend of yours you call a friend of yours if y'all always having arguments if y'all always having disagreements if y'all never really see eye to eye if y'all not really if y'all if it's always something that comes about where y'all you know can't continue to operate on the same frequency chances are y'all might be better off apart that's just i mean that's just how i look at situations like that like chances are y'all might be better off apart yeah y'all made history together y'all got money together but sometimes things are done for money when instead of true friendship or without a basis of true friendship and that'll lead to situations like this i've heard jim say this out his own mouth like you know if cam was going to the water he wasn't gonna go without me you feel what i'm saying so that more so sounds like y'all might have been cool but like you really stuck around for the opportunity and not necessarily like because you and cam were so close you know what i'm saying and in my opinion i don't think that's the wrong the right foundation to go with someone especially when you're talking about lifelong friendship you know now you're not always going to be friends with everybody you do business with but close ties and close business like that where y'all where y'all had to operate and be around each other all the time no i we need to have a good foundational friendship like the locks i don't think that the locks beat dipset in that versus battle i really don't i think that dipset songs were way bigger and had a way bigger crowd reaction consistently but 
the locks are so loyal to one another and their energy is so vibrant that i believe that the people felt that and i believe that that's what ended up pushing them over the top because the loyalty that they have for one another you never heard none of them diss each other or talk bad about each other or nothing they're built for long-term friendship they're built for long-term success you feel what i'm saying dipset not really built for long-term success and i think all of them are growing a business mind grew and you know now that they all kind of know how the game works you know jimmy's still popping he's still he's still active in music and it's still a figure in music cam popping cam got a lot of businesses and business ventures Joel's is getting his foot in back after getting released from jail and has all type of business ventures and i'm sure music on the way so they all gonna be okay but this is one of them situations where sometimes it's just better to just kind of you know part ways for your own mental and spiritual well-being and kind of go your own separate way y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments man it's the guy who is being our big fight with big abundance don't forget to like share subscribe like share subscribe it's the guy who is being our big fight with big abundance i'm gone